My uncle John got killed in 1996, 10th of May. Uh, open verdict. Um, my dad died of a broken heart this year for a mate who locked himself away for 20 years. It's hard, like, it is hard. It's, uh, there's been over a thousand deaths in police custody. There's no, nothing ever gets done about it. There's no one ever been charged for it. We have law in this land. We don't have justice in our eyes. Well, since 1969, over 2,000 people have died as a result of contact with police. And that's in the mental health, stop and search, and even gun, gun police as well. So it goes to show there is a problem here and it needs to be sorted and it needs to be addressed. Whether the death occurs in Paris, London, Madrid, Berlin, or any town or city, we look far and wide for answers as to why our sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters have been murdered by the state. It was a horrendous place, it was awful. They stopped me visiting in the end, and she died three months after her 18th birthday. And she should have been coming home, but they said there wasn't the support in the community. There was not enough money, and that she'd be safer in a hospital. In my, you know, views, they, gave, they murdered her. And we go out with our banner every week and stand outside the hospital, because I want to shoot down. I'm a Hindu, 40 years old. Mahama Dumahiga, 38 years old. Adama Traoré, 24 years old. Hakim Hajimi, 22 years old. Mohamed Sahoud, 30 years old. And many more were killed in the same way. My brother was killed during a mental health crisis. Somebody had called the police. My other brother turned his back for five minutes and came back and my brother was dead on the floor. So they tasered him three times. He's got his spine was broken, his wrist was broken. You know, there's no trauma counselling, there's nothing. And um, I just wanted to come down today because it's the only way I can cope with my grief. Really, is to uh, just feel like I'm doing something for my brother and his babies. You know. Yeah.